Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood, Tony, and we just had the latest trailer for the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie drop. So I wanted to jump on real quick, check it out, see what it looks like, and maybe figure out if this movie is going to be as good as the first one was, or if maybe not. If that sounds cool to you, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more trailer reactions, movie reviews, all that good stuff. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into the trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And here we go. All right, we got Knuckles. <laughs> These rings signify the commitment. Oh, so love that song. Come. Sorry, sorry. Life or death situation. I need you to use the ring to save me. Like right <laughs> Snow Maka. Oh, oh geez. Ah, Hawaii. I just hope we are not too late. Oh lord, there are two of them now. Tails. What's happening? Uh, okay, quick version. Robotnik is back. <laughs> I discovered the source of ultimate power. <laughs> we need to get it back or the world is doomed. You rock some kind of... <clears throat> space porcupine. <laughs> I am an echidna warrior. <laughs> hmm. This looks Hedgehog. fantastic. It's time to say goodbye to humanity. Welcome Jim Carrey doing exactly what Jim Carrey should do. This is your moment to be the big hero. Bad time to say this, but I don't actually have a plan. Hey, you got a little something on your... Oh, God. Someone call an Uber? It's cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, great. The Winter Soldier. Oh, God. Fear not, citizen. You are terrible at this. Your negative attitude is not helping. <laughs> <laughs> we stick together. No matter what. James Marsden. You're unskilled. Hang on! Untrained. Dude, this looks fun. Unworthy. You forgot one. Unstoppable. <laughs> all right dude that looks like a lot of fun it's definitely much like the first sonic movie aimed at a younger audience and a bit cheesy here and there but it works so well it's exactly what they need to do i feel like that's the vibe they really need to go for for these kinds of movies honestly i can't really think of a weak link in any of the casting or anything like that or the tone of the movie so let's check out the rotten tomatoes see who's working on this one i think it's the same team that worked on the original so we'll look at that and maybe determine whether or not this movie looks like it's going to be good i think it is comes out in just a couple weeks here so Let's take a look. All right, so I've actually got the Rotten Tomatoes pulled up for the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie. It did pretty well critically. It's got a 63% on Rotten Tomatoes, but a 93% audience score. The audience obviously very much loved this movie. It was a lot of fun. So let's take a look at this new one. And here it is here. So the new one, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, comes out April 8th. It's directed by the same person, Jeff Fowler. You've got the same writers except for John Whittington is a new writer on there. So let's go ahead and pull these guys up and see what they've worked on if you don't know. That way we can kind of get an idea on what the tone of this might be as well as the talent that's going into it so first up like i said as far as the writing team you've got pat casey who worked on the first sonic the hedgehog movie he was a screenwriter on that uh hasn't really done much else besides that as far as screenwriting or producing you've also got worm miller who i've got pulled up here he also was a screenwriter on the first sonic the hedgehog movie i think it was just them two plus the director aside from that though hasn't done a ton did a couple of writing gigs back in the early 2000s that weren't particularly well received. And joining them, you have John Whittington, who wrote on the Lego Batman movie, which was 
awesome. So he's one of the screenwriters on that movie. He also wrote on the Lego Ninjago movie, which was, I mean, if you're a big Ninjago fan, I guess it was fine, but I don't think most adults are going to be. Some might, but I'm not, so didn't really do it for me. Also wrote on a movie called When First We Met. I'll be straight up. I have not seen that movie. I'm not familiar with that one. So he's joining the team. Again, got a little bit of credit there from being on the Lego Batman movie and being a screenwriter on that. So a good team. And of course, the director is Jeff Fowler, who directed the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie. He also produced an executive producer on Escape from Pretoria, which I think was a Daniel Radcliffe movie that also got some pretty good reviews. So, so far, so good. Oh, check this out. He was also a guest star on Gilmore Girls. That's hilarious. I've actually been watching Gilmore Girls. We've got a really good, talented team behind this one. Same team that was on the original, plus a little bit of extra talent coming over from the Lego Batman movie. And honestly, I don't see why this one won't be fantastic. You've got the inclusion, of course, of Tails and Knuckles now in this movie. Jim Carrey doing his thing, being completely ridiculous as Dr. Robotnik, aka Eggman. And I am absolutely looking forward to this one. Definitely going to see this one in theaters. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you seen the first Sonic movie? Are you excited for the second one? I'd love to hear it. Let me know your thoughts. And if you're into the Sonic movies, I have a sneaking suspicion you are going to dig this review that I did right over here. It's for the latest Ryan Reynolds movie called The Atom Project. So check that review out right now if you want to see a movie that has a similar vibe as far as comedy action, that kind of thing. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you hanging out and I'll catch you in the next one. Be good.